Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters of the Week. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought I would mix in this video along with the other ones. Uh, be on the lookout for some new Aliens and UFOs videos coming soon. And as, as you can see with the suggestion box, please post your comments in that one and then I'll take a look. I was wondering when I would run into this situation on a Cryptids of the Week when I had to do when I had to do with something where there's really not much information to talk about. It's just pretty much one paragraph in terms of all the information available on this cryptid. So instead I'm gonna mix in how it pretty much came to be, like what it's tied to, so that way I could hopefully add some more good information with it. But as always with the theme of this particular of the week series whatever my random page lands on I'll definitely talk about it for better or worse no matter how short the information is so this cryptid is apparently one that if it's still existing today has been around for thousands of years actually I mean we're talking about something that based on the textbook or in this case the book that it comes from it's probably since around the fourth century BC so a very long time and I'm talking about this ancient bestiary a key word that I'll talk about here in a minute called the Ranyi which you're looking at a drawing of here this is the only known drawing from it because it comes from one very specific book called well there's actually two versions of it called one is called the classic of mountains and seas and then other versions, it's called Through Mountains and Seas Guideways, uh, or Guideways Through Mountains and Seas. So I guess it just depends on what the uh, specific title is. Uh, another, yet another version is Through Mountains and Seas Guideways Through Mountains and Seas. So it's called several different ways. I guess it's just the, ver the way it's translated to English. And the reason why it's called the bestiary is because during that time period, and this also reflects apparently with... Um, ancient Greek mythology, these bestiaries were pretty much the closest thing we have today to cryptids. They were a form of creatures that were basically written down as being real, but a lot of stuff was mixed in that was considered fiction. So it was a way of people to tie in religious, uh, metaphorical, I guess, wish belief stuff into what they quote unquote saw out there in the real world and then put it into some kind of encyclopedia of sorts when they were chronicling all the animals of the world. So whatever the mood was of certain people and their countries and their politics and their religion and their life, essentially, they would mix it in with these animals and hence the birth of a bestiary. So I re the reason I explain all this is because this cryptid or bestiary, this Ranyi, the way I'm going to describe it, a lot of it does sound pretty fantastical, but you got to keep in mind that the people that were describing it and putting it into that book of bestiaries might have been doing so with an ulterior motive. How much of it is true? I have no idea, but again, it's up to you to decide. So what is the Ranyi? Again, it's it's an old, old creature, thousands of years old, at least from the 4th BC, uh, maybe even up to the 6th BC, depending on uh, the bestiary mythology, if, especially if it's tied to Greece again. It's a fish that is apparently 6 feet long. This is the only known picture or drawing again, so this is the description that it's coming from that has horse ears on its head and then also the head of a snake so quite a mixture of things when it comes to this creature it being six feet long also uh, gives it the fact that it's a pretty large creature this is something that that um, is not something that was probably caught there in China to eat instead it was probably a predator of some sort considering how large it was but who knows it may have been a docile creature the largest shark in the world the whale shark uh, does not have any meat that it eats so it could be something similar to that apparently it lived in the lakes near the Wan River near a mountain called the Ying Di Mountain so if you're ever there in China and you want to take a look and see if you wanted to find this legendary creature then go to that area to the Ying Di Mountain then go to the Yan River and then you have a chance of doing so and a part of the reason why it's chronicled um, through that book again the one with separate titles through mountains and sea guideways through mountains and seas is because people stated that they would hunt this thing 
um, they would eat it only for one purpose um, and that was to essentially prevent someone from going blind and then an ulterior motive was to also repeal or repel evil f f forces but at least with regards to going blind to prevent it that would seem to be the most common occurrence for it so that's all the information really that's tied to the Ranyi but again keep that in mind it's a classic bestiary creature some of the characteristics of it imagine like the head of a snake and horse's ears could be tied more towards mythological stuff like maybe at that time a fish was a sign of a good symbol I'm just throwing the ideas out but then having a head of the snake probably meant something else in that region when it came to something bad you know or something good uh, because maybe they saw the head of like a, like a snake as a good animal of sorts and so having it tied to one of their favorite fish made it be even better who knows but keep, that's the idea that you're going with when you're thinking of these bestiary creatures so so what do you guys think the Rhine uh, not much information otherwise known about it I was looking through some of the other pictures tied through that book that classic mountains and seas there's a whole bunch of other stuff that's 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 tied to it um, like for example I saw one called a nine-tailed fox I saw another one called a new wa I think it's called crazy stuff I mean we're talking about stuff that in some cases like it has the head of a human on a snake and some of the other bestiary drawings I was watch I was seeing too especially on the Greece side uh, they're also pretty out there like I saw one that had a lion with the head of a person as well stuff that you wouldn't really of course believe today as far as any kind of real animals out there but think of again the time period that's associated and then the stance I guess to people they had back then so so if anyone has any more information about the Ranyi again a little bit more limited info but especially if anyone that knows the region there in China and happens to see uh, know more good news or bad news about this thing please post those comments below it'd be great to hear that book by the way is, is considered the oldest or one of the oldest books remaining books from China so quite fascinating to think that something that has been that old it's still um, uh, to this day it's uh, it's it's talked about to this very day so one wonders what kind of works today are gonna be talked about 2000 years in the future so alright everybody thanks again as always take care